Hello and welcome to episode 3 of our Sir Gamber campaign. In the last episode, we dealt with a bit of a succession war, where we went through, I think, three rulers in a span of about three years. But we have finally ended up with a consort regency, a 352, or Baldwin Lot Castle, a 524, who is six years old. So I'm looking forward to uh, when he takes over. We'll be making some pretty good monarch points with him. I'm probably focusing Diplo at that point. We are a little bit behind on tech overall, and our institutions are on their way. They should be here relatively soon. Uh, let's see the spread in this province right here, 0.8, so not great. I will switch this over to an advancement effort, and we are also going to go through and switch off the development edict because we developed some of our land in order to complete a mission to get six provinces up to 12 development. So for this episode, I want to kind of keep looking at the uh, mission tree here. Specifically, I want the Bissan Partition. So I just need Wex to like me a lot. And then we also need to have a Statesman Advisor. Which I don't know. We do. We do have a Statesman Advisor. So let's just make sure Wex is uh, happy with us. We will start to pay for our troops, actually, and we will root out corruption a little bit slower. And then we will let that morale recover there. We will drop it down to speed four. Don't want to go too fast. Vern, 31. Possible PU opportunity here. Uh, I'm looking at this war right here, the sand. If we can pull it off, I want to try and vassalize them. It might be too much AE, and we might have to eat them up slowly. But uh, looking back, I should have at least paid them back for their like role in the succession war. Because now we have historical rival, which gives the permanent minus 25 uh, relation penalty. But I am not too worried about it. Let's move our troops over. Let's also make sure that we have set this land as vital interest. So that way Wex doesn't want it. Is they are going to come and help us in this war. Now, Wex is tech 5. We are going to be behind on tech possibly here, but I'm not too worried about that. Oh, perfect. We can just wait for them to uh, increase their relations with us. Alrighty. And then hopefully we can vassalize these guys, which will give us a vassalization over this guy right here for free. And that'd be nice because he's allied to uh, quite a few people. Nobody too big, but level three four is not something i really want to deal with at the moment again we do need to expand into these three provinces here but Celiande has allied a whole bunch of strong people like if we declared on them that's that's too much we could actually call in all of our allies though and it still would not be enough so we will have to find a way to get around that which shouldn't be too difficult uh, i will stake this up uh, any money that we can get right now is definitely a benefit, but I will leave Antir drop uh, as just a province. It's not too big of a deal there. So we'll wait for one more approved relation. We will pull it back and then we will find someone their rival to. Busalar, that sounds good. We will send them an insult. We gain 10 power projection. Wex likes us more. Vern likes us more. There we go. And then we will go on over here and we will hire the statesman, which will allow us to complete the Bissan partition. So the traitorous Bissan sided with the Moon Party and fought against their Wexenard brothers in Us and Wex in the Fourth Lilac War. Clearly, their rulers cannot be trusted to safeguard the interests of the people any longer. Could they not see that the shackles of the Silmunas had to be overthrown for the good of Anbanar? Together with Wex, we must free the Wexenard to Bissan for their own good. Let us draft an ultimatum to their wayward ruler. This may lead to an offensive war. So it will cost us 100 Diplo points. And uh, we will see if they accept. I highly doubt it because it means they would instantly be annexed and nobody in their right minds is going to accept that. So we will start to move down and they refuse. So we declare war with the annexation war CB. Wex will get a claim on some provinces and then we get a claim on some provinces. What's very important is that we get everything. <laughs> I don't want Wex to get a single thing. So we'll stack wipe these guys real quick. Easy stack wipe there. 
Wex is going to start sieging down the capital. They didn't want it, so they shouldn't be able to uh, declare that they want it now that we are in a war. But uh, the AI does not always follow that one. So we'll see how that goes. We'll very quickly go here and we will start to siege down their province. I do want to get like full war, like money and war repped out of them because I don't have a lot of money right now. I mean, this war is going to be expensive as it is. We are definitely going to loot this place into the ground. And who else are we at war with? The level 3 fort that I didn't want to deal with. But they're over here busy with uh, in Wex's land. So we'll leave him there. Wex can take care of it. Mages are buying land. How much uh, crown land do we have? We have 39, so we can actually do that. Yeah, sure. We'll let him be loyal. Now, do we want to help Wex with this siege? Probably. Actually, no. Probably not. We can just sit here. We can siege all of this down. I will send one troop over to the fort in case Wex decides to leave. Because the AI can uh, do things like that. And it's very annoying when it happens. Look at the peace deal here. We could vassalize them. We could not vassalize them. <laughs> that is going to be uh, too much. Too much AE for that. Which is unfortunate, but we will then take... Okay. We can take these two then, probably. Yeah, we can. That's what we'll do. We'll take those two. For the mission, do we have to own all of... Uh... Oh no, we don't. We don't even have to finish this. We can just do it. That's interesting. Let's take a look at that again. That was a lot of names, but it is possible that we could... Uh... Find a way to make it work. Yeah, I mean, I can give it a try. Don't people still have AE with me? They do. Let's pull you back and let's improve with... Uh, we don't need to improve with Istralor because they should fall out naturally. Because we can wait the full five years. We need to improve with Leslinpar and Orda Aldresia or whatever. I know that's you, so we'll improve with you. And let's find Leslin Parr. You up here. Okay, we will improve with you. If a small coalition forms, I'm not too worried about it, but a, a large one could cause some issues. Always going to be looking here at Laurent, trying to see if we can pull off a uh, an alliance with them. There we go. Now, Wex can go and pull the siege down that level 3 fort. I don't want to spend my manpower on it at the moment. I like all the manpower that we could have for any eventual um, problems. We'll just continue to uh, loot these lands. We'll go loot the lands that we're not going to take first. Oh, and that one's empty, so I guess that's all we really have left. Magdalare? Uh, I'll see what I'll do with Magdalare, because for this mission, I need to have more prestige than Istralor. So... Let's see if we can uh, pull that off. We will wait till the end of the month, then we'll pull a diplomat back. I will send one troop out with uh, my two siege guy, just so that doesn't last forever. And then we will pull back from less than par for a second. We will go Magdalare. I want to end your rivalries. And war reps are not necessary. I want as much prestige as I can possibly get. Okay, plus six. Oh, I probably should have given uh, the merchant guilds the patronage of the arts first. But we'll sever peace out uh, Bellacare as well. Well, of course, we'll, we'll go back to improving with Leslie Park. So if we can full if we can get a vassal of him, that means we couldn't go to war for a while, but it would secure this area from any future movements from Wex. Are you a free city? You are not. So yeah, that would be really useful actually. Just to kind of snag this off of Wex. It's in their state, but I don't really care. Allies are only as good as long as you uh, let them stick around. And eventually we will have to kind of go to war with Wex, so the weaker they are, the better. But right now, Oh, right, no, they died. They're not Emperor anymore. I forgot about that. Which means I'm going to get a uh, 
Oh, that's bad. I am going to get a call for the land, if I take any land. So I have to, uh, hopefully I kind of have to vassalize him now, because if not, I have to find a war to declare. I mean, we could declare that war, like accumulate rival and wait, but sounds kind of expensive to me. Okay, if we can pull back from you now, you... And and all of your rivalries, and then you can give me war reps. Thank you. All right. So eleven prestige, and then we will hit the prestige button here. Boom. Which will allow us to complete the A Power Rises mission. For far too long, the borders have been split into petty kingdoms, vying for a small piece of an insignificant pie. The tribal feuds of the old Milkori and Wexenards live on today in spirit, albeit in a more civilized facsimile within Anbanar. It is up to us to finally unite the region under our banner and forge a nation in the borders that is able to stand on its own within the Empire. So Gamber will be ascendant. So we make Magdalera vassal and we get a permanent claim on Mountain Way area. Just like that, we get a, a furry vassal and Busalar we now have claims on. And Hillnols, but Hillnols still have a lot of troops and I don't really want to deal with that. So let's check the peace deal. If we do end up vassalizing. That's a lot of people. A lot of people. But it looks like we did get uh, one nation out of it already. Let's go ahead and try and get... Well, Seliande and Arnanen are going to hate me forever. Let's find Gistin. Find Gistin here. You. We will improve with you. We will continue to improve with uh, Orda Aldresia, although I'm not sure if it's going to matter or not. But hey, we do now have a little vassal right here. We will annex him as soon as possible. 25 development for free. No AE, no nothing. Cannot get much better than that. That would have been a pain to take. And then loot this as well. Isan, no. Elite half elven, half elven Gala. I will take the prestige. Thank you very much. Goed is preparing to attack Reveria. Goed is going crazy. What is up with you? You are a powerful mage. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. So they took out Nimsgod a bit. Took some land down here. Now they're going straight for Reveria. They keep going like this. Goed could be a, a big problem in the future. A very big problem in the future. So we will just uh, wait around here for the Bassan War to end. We can actually bump it up to speed five and we can bring our troops home. Not missing out on much. We are making some decent money now. We have been raped. <coughs> Excuse me, raided by the pirate nation right here. We are a far way off from being able to deal with them though. I would rather switch out my Diplo Rep guy and put my Improved Relations guy right back in. That should be enough for both of these nations. So let's go ahead and check the coalition here now. We're getting better. Uh, Ashinyande and Indoleberry need to be improved with. And Ashinyande. Here you go. Ashinyande. Okay. Always good to have max relations with your neighbors. All right. Uh, a loan. Yes, we will repay that loan. No more loans. Corvuria is 41. Out in air. Interesting. And they're infertile. Huh. Oh, that was unfortunate. I would have really liked to have grabbed that uh, share knowledge. Dang. That's a pretty big misstep on my part right there. But it's spreading all right, but please be re-offering it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Magdalar. You're such a good little vassal. We will need to improve with Magdalar as well at some point, but uh, we'll get that strong duchy privilege, and then they should be totally loyal. Uh, these guys, on the other hand, they are not going to be loyal. Maybe ever, but we will see. Yeah, that's going to be enough for you. Just got to wait and break this coalition down before it can spawn. And look at that. Max money, thank you. Uh, revoke your cores. Okay, I'll take less money. 
and revoke a core? Can I not force them to revoke this core? No, because it's their primary culture. Rip. Okay, well, give me money. Uh, vassal, yes. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, and they're both going to be pretty mad. Historical rival plus 50%. That is rough, but I think we can handle it. If not, well, oh well. We will deal with that as it may. It was a lot of power projection. Uh, yes, and I think we, we rival Corvaria back. Absolutely. We will go and we will give the nobility the... Da, 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 strong Duchy's Privilege. We will pull both of our diplomats back and we will start to improve with our vassals. Magdalare, not a big deal. These guys will be a uh, very, very big deal. So here, it's still a Sylvivan. We do not get put into a succession war, which is unfortunate. And we now have claims up here and over here. So I don't... Oh, an instant. BPEC is claiming the province of Orston, owned by Exwitz. They say that as the elector representing halflings within the empire, they have a right to the halfling land. So yeah, so BPEC right here, they are a halfling nation. And this is Exwitz, and I believe it's this province, yes, is a halfling culture. So BPEC wants it back. I believe we will say that uh, BPEC can get a core on it, but we can't just force it back to them. Most people aren't going to back that up. Because it's, I mean, really, it's not theirs. They're just claiming, kind of being a cultural claim, which I think is cool. We could take tech. Um, I don't know if I really want to. It's spreading pretty decently. I don't see us going to war anytime soon. Our allies are strong enough to cover for us. So we shall simply wait and let our power points build up a bit. Always keeping our eyes out for possible uh, personal unions. The question of rights. So Bissan. <laughs> uh, oh, I can renounce a claim. Yeah, sure. I can renounce a claim. That's not a big deal. Now we, we continue to wait. Just kind of speed five in it. Once again, uh, our AE is super high here in the Anbanar Empire. How are we supposed to defend the south if you won't let us just get some land to defend with? Ooh, money. Very nice. I don't think we even have anything to spend the money on. We will absolutely take a free stability and we will uh, boost and boost so we have plus three stab. Pretty cool. We still cannot convert this because it's a non-accepted culture and the development is low. Or the development is too high. So, that's unfortunate. This is the null religion. I think we can... Actually, no. We'll leave that up. I don't want to test Bissan too much. Interesting. When Krista was first made the royal consort, the Allen Fields were excited. Now that she is the royal regent of the realm, they are ecstatic. Crystal is now one of, if not the, most powerful women in the realm, and the family has made it very clear to us that they expect to be treated in accordance to her position. So, we can lose a bunch of power and we gain some tax stuff, or we lose prestige. Yeah, take the points. Uh, while she is very good, I'm going to let her kind of move on and let our king come into play, or our duke, sorry, come into play here. Burn still? Yeah, it's tempting, man. It is really tempting to send him a royal marriage. We have the slot. No, we do not have the slot. Never mind. We will not. We shall not. That was their liberty desire. Yeah. Still, so it's right. Oh, beautiful. Because we're going to start taking our ideas and such. Uh, we could stack that. We could go for Dane and get minus 10% idea cost and then blast through whatever first idea we have. That actually sounds like a good plan to me, so we'll let go of the uh, the improved relations for just super cheap ideas, big dame, and then once we are able to uh, embrace the institution, then we will be in good shape. Okay, it's spreading super fast. We still have an 83 here. That would probably uh, do it for getting it potions for adventures nice because we are at 160 right now that's pretty expensive lose 10 prestige no i don't want to lose prestige i can't afford that advisor anyways 
Ishralor has been elected to the Empire. Christine. Wex. What's our trust at? It's at 37. Or oh, we have 37 favors. Let's uh let's get our trust up a bit here. Could ask for money. Actually, asking for the money isn't a bad idea. Then we can ask for trust, because I don't need to call them into any wars right now. Oh, they're up to tech six, so we are super far behind on our uh, our techs. So let's embrace the institution. Perfect. We will take military idea, and then we will take that and that. We're still one behind because we did a lot of developing for our mission. So we're going to have to kind of plan ahead with that one. For our first idea group, it can't be a military because we're too far behind. I think diplomatic. I think you just have to go diplomatic in this situation. The plus 25 improved relations is just huge. And the two additional diplomats are worth so much value. We'll grab that and we will take this idea for 330 diplo points. Absolutely. And with that, we can also embrace the Renaissance. Great change is afoot at Anvenar. Across the Dame's Head, new methods of production, of thinking, of religion, and of art are adopted and deemed obsolete almost as soon as they appear. The borders are too much at the peripheral of the Empire to truly become a hotbed for this seemingly never-ending renaissance. But at the same time, Sagamber cannot be allowed to fall behind. We must adopt quickly or be eclipsed by our neighbors. So, this gives us production efficiency and national tax modifier plus 10% for 20 years. That will help us keep our economy going up. And silk in Rinmund. For this, we will need a spy master, we will need 100 diplo power, and a spy network at least size 20 in the bulwark. That's down here. Okay, I think we can work on that, but that's gonna have to be in the, ne the next episode because this is where I want to wrap it up here. Uh, I think it was fairly productive. I mean, we got two vassals, one of them that hates us probably forever, but you know, we could just. Uh, prestige bank into them and just make them super loyal to annex them very quickly we'll see we could build up some more troops we're making a good chunk of money now right before i head out i actually want to go ahead and switch our troops over before i forget but yep that is going to be it for today i'd like to thank you all for tuning in and i hope to see you next time